in this question again you will while well, well, i am sure many of you know formula which you can apply uh, my recommendation is that formula is also not the best thing to use out here find the distance between si and ti on 200 at the rate of 10% for ti simple interest at 10% of ti simple interest will be equal to 30% of principal so simple interest will be 10% every year so for ti it will be 30% I'll come back to question 27 in a couple of minutes. Uh, obviously, and sorry, I will not be taking your question which I have not shortlisted. These questions, the other questions, either you have to take with your faculty and discuss, or you know, I'll take them up in a separate session. So, this session only specific questions which I have decided are important, which I think are important. So, so please don't ask me to do questions which I have not shortlisted today. Okay, coming back to the question. If the rate of interest is 10 percent, for three years in simple interest you get 30 percent. So simple interest is 30 percent of principal. Compound interest, 10 percent for three years, is nothing but three successive increments of 10 percent. Two successive increments of 10 percent is nothing but 21 percent. So three successive increments will be equal to or two successive increments of 21 and 10. So 21 plus 10 is 31. 21 plus 10 plus A B upon 21 into 10 upon 100, which is equal to 33.1 percent. So simple interest is 30 percent of principal. Compound interest is 33.1 percent of principal. Or the difference between the two is C I minus S I is equal to 3.1 percent of principal. So what is the difference? It is equal to 3.1 percent of 700. Again, 10% of 700 is 70. 1% of 700 is 7. So 3% is 21. Okay. So so 3% is equal to 21. Purely from a calculation perspective, 3% is equal to 21 because 10% is equal of 700 will be 70. 1% of 700 will be 7. So 3% is 21. Again, 1% is 7. 0.1% will be 0.7. 0.7. So 3.1% will be equal to 21.7. So it's answer C. So again, going back to this thing, compounding is nothing but successive increments. Wherever you have a compounding, you should be able to replace it with uh, some. Uh, You should be able to replace it with successive increment. Then this uh, this is the same successive increment formula a plus b plus ab by 100. This is what I am using out here in case of compounding. Now just to uh, okay. So so three successive increments of 10 percent. You would have done it as 1.1 cube. If you remember cube of 11, this is equal to 13, 31. So 1.331, or you could have done it this way: two successive increments of 10% are nothing but a single increment of 21%. 10 plus 10 plus 100 by 100, and then these two together will give you 21 plus 10 plus 21 into 10 by 100, which is equal to 33 plus 1%. So either way, you could have done this.